Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explaining about basic fundamental of an alloy. So the most of the basic questions what is an alloy. So let us start. So if substance which is composed of two or more chemical elements such that the metallic atoms predominate in composition and the metallic bonds predominates is called an alloy. So the element present in largest proportion is called the base metal and the other elements are known as an alloying element. So let us see with an examples. So most common examples iron carbon diagram. So F E and C. So in case of the steel and cast iron that would be the basic two products from iron carbon diagram. So up to 2 percentage category of the carbon into iron. So that will be formation of steel and 2 percent to maximum 4.5 percentage of carbon into iron and to produce a cast iron. So basically in case of the iron carbon diagram carbon material it will be act as a alloy. So this carbon it will be added into the iron. So the largest proportion is called as a base metal. So in case of the iron carbon diagram Fe that will be act as a base metal and carbon that will be act as an alloy. So by the addition of such kind of alloys so it will be having a high affinity power to change the materials. So to which kind of materials if it will be up to 2 percentage so it will be having the ability to formation of steel and if it will be more than 2 percent to maximum 4.5 percentage of carbon into the iron so it forms the iron. So that will be basic difference between base metal and alloying element. So alloying element can drastically improve the physical, chemical, mechanical and electrical properties of the base metal. So here the carbon is responsible for increasing the hardness into the materials up to the certain limits. So that will be increasing the strength of the iron materials. So rest of the others like chromium, nickel, molybdenum, cobalt, sulfur, phosphorus. It will be also addition or you can say alloying element into the any kind of compositions to form the new materials. So according to that addition of the alloy it will be having a capabilities for drastically improve the properties. So that will be having the importance of the alloying elements into the any kind of base material for all, from increasing the properties of the materials and that properties of the materials. Basically it will be requirements of the engineering applications. So let us see with the some examples here the 316 that will be the austenitic stainless steel. So that will be the category of the steels. So that will be the less than 2 percentage of the carbon is being present according to our discussion over here and the austenitic that will be the one kind of soft face of a steel materials. So which kind of chemical compositions over here? So carbon here 0 0.08 percentage is present so that will be the category of steel. Then manganese 2 percentage, phosphorus 0 0.045 percentage sulfur 0.030 percentage, silicon 0.75 percentage, chromium 16 to 18 percentage, nickel 10 to 14 percentage and nitrogen 0.10 percentage and molybdenum 2 to 3 percentage and rest of the other that will be the Fe. So here that will be the Fe that will be having a largest proportion. So Fe act as a base metal. And rest of the others it will be representing over here that will be act as a alloying elements. So according to that 
presence of the alloying element that will be increasing the properties of their materials so that will be all related with the alloy so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching